And a Merry Christmas. Beaver County Auto, PJ Latsko, Doug Biega, the December edition of the Sports Drive. And gentlemen, um, we're gonna be bah hubbung this year, or today, with the uh, what we saw yesterday with the Steelers. I think uh, disappointed everybody. Uh, they're not out of it yet, but uh, things don't look good considering their injury situation and, uh, you know, teams not playing, but we'll get into that in a second. But um, when you, if things end up as though a lot of people believe and they don't make the playoffs, isn't this going to be a year that you're just always going to be thinking, uh, what if? Yeah, what if Ben wouldn't have got hurt? That's it. And we got the Grinch here to uh, celebrate yesterday's game. Um, I mean, think about it. We got the best defense we've had in how long? For as long as I can remember back to the glory days when we were winning Super Bowls. And if we have Ben, we just need to win one or two more games. I mean, and really, there's probably like five games we could have won. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of what ifs this year. And, and, and I would think one of the biggest what ifs, if Ben does not get hurt, do the Steelers make the move for Fitzpatrick? Because that's really against what they typically do. It seemed like a move out of desperation, which at the time they made it, they were a desperate team. So if you still have your franchise future Hall of Fame quarterback, do you even bother to make that move for Fitzpatrick? And push, I mean, they did win seven out of eight, right? So they, you know, it's not like they lost every game without their quarterback. So there's a lot of moving parts to the what ifs of this scenario. It's been a, a very fascinating, interesting, like mysterious type of a season. I think one thing that I'm going to take out of this, just as, uh, you know, as a, quote, fan, I think you underappreciate your quarterback and what you have until they're gone. You can say that about a lot of things in life. But in this situation with the Steelers, sure. yeah. uh, a lot of fans at the end of the year, at the end of the game, would nitpick Ben for this or that. But do you think this year is going to appreciate have Steelers appreciate the fact that, you know, maybe may here for another year or two and the fact that, they had it pretty damn good with a Hall of Fame quarterback. Well, yeah, I, I definitely think it's always in a sports expression that the most popular person in town is the backup quarterback. You know, everybody thinks that next guy is is the, the like the fan favorite uh, to coin a phrase. Uh, but I, I would, I, how don't you appreciate what the guy has done for decades uh, as the Steelers' starting quarterback, coming in as a rookie, winning the way he did, and really hasn't had a drop off since. And you know, I think we'll even find more of an appreciation next year if he comes back not healthy. Because, uh, you know, the, you don't just get – how long was it between Terry Bradshaw and Ben Ralph Roethlisberger before you even had a good quarterback in there, let alone a great one? So, you know, these guys don't come around very often. No, we really got to appreciate Ben. I mean, mm -hmm. he's been here for, what is it, 15, 16 years? Right. I mean, the guys – yeah, he gets criticism once in a while because he's the quarterback. And this is what you get when, when you don't have the, the stud quarterback. Uh, another thing about that – Fitzpatrick trade. If Ben doesn't get hurt, do the Dolphins even trade with us? Because I'm sure at the time they thought they were getting a top 10 pick. Great point. Great point. The Steelers um, played that into a good trade. That's a really good point. And I, did, I saw today, this is the first time, assuming they don't score 30 points against the Ravens, this will be the first time since I believe 1971 that the Steelers haven't scored 30 points in a regular season game. That just shows you you know, with Ben, it was, you know, snap of a finger. You had three touchdowns in a game. Well, yeah, and it's not just with Ben. Uh, we were talking yesterday on, on, on group text. Their offensive line is getting older now, too. So you have a window. Sports, especially football, man, those windows, you have to seize those opportunities. And they had an elite offensive line, a Hall of Fame quarterback, the best wide receiver in football, the best running back in football, and then all that's gone. Uh, the offensive linemen are still there, but they're not like they were even a year ago. So you have to jump on those opportunities when your window is open. And the Steelers' window was open for about two or three years, and I'm not sure that window will reopen. Now, the defense is good, but now you have to start rebuilding, which was the strength of your team, which is your offensive line, which has really been bad this year. Seven years in a row, we've spent first-round picks on defense, and right now you can tell Correct. it's working. Yep. I mean, those guys are really, really playing good. When we were scoring all the points, we didn't have the defense. Can't win playoff football 45 to 42 or whatever those scores were. Um, and unfortunately, it looks like the Ravens are going to be around for a while. Yeah. Uh, the, the Ravens have the offense and they got the defense. They're and the one the young quarterback. Now, he's a 
good hit away from being the next RG3, which will be done, and that's the risk you take when you run that system with an athletic running quarterback. They look really good. But they're built right. The 49ers good. are built right. They built from the offensive defensive lines out. Yeah, I agree with that. Are we, uh, you know, we're speaking a lot of that the Steelers are done, and technically, uh, you know, mathematically they're not. They, they beat – a Ravens team, the question is who they're going to play. Are they going to sit everybody? And they need Houston, which has won their division already, to beat the Titans. If you had to give a percentage, not that you guys are gambling men, <laughs> but uh, you know, what sort of percentage do you give the Steelers to, give for those 50, two? 50 chance. I think they're going to get to the playoffs. You do? Because, yeah, if you follow the NFL, you can't tell what's going to happen. Two weeks ago, you would have thought Seattle was going to win the Super Bowl. What'd they do yesterday? They got beat by Arizona. Badly at home. I mean, mm -hmm. what the heck? They're bringing Marshawn Lynch back. You see that? That's how desperate they've become in like one day. Uh, I, get, I agree with PJ. I give them maybe a coin flip, 50 50 shot. But when you use the term, they seem done, the Steelers were done after week one. They, the expectations of the Pittsburgh Steelers and like teams like the, um, the New England Patriots and the New Orleans Saints, their expectations are not to make the playoffs. Their expectations are to win the Super Bowl. So the Steelers were done in week one with what they want to do. They want to win Super Bowls. So when they lost Ben Roethlisberger, they were done uh, as far as what they expect. Now, can they still make the playoffs and maybe sneak by and get a defensive-minded victory one? Yeah, possibly. But as far as what the Pittsburgh Steelers' expectations are, they've been done for a while. Right, let's go to yes, uh, real quick on yesterday's game. Uh, if you had to pick one thing, player, something that – you saw in the game that just uh, I don't know, rubbed you the wrong way or just uh, disappointed you, what would that be? I just think we – I think he stuck with uh, Hodges too long. I mean, I don't – I don't know that, that – uh, who's the other Rudolph. 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 I, don't, I don't think he's the answer either. But I just Back don't you think – you didn't know his name. I, I don't, <laughs> he can throw the football, though. He can throw that touchdown pass. He, it was a great pass. I don't think Hodges has that arm. You need an arm. And, I mean, he had he, guy open in the end zone. The ball just didn't get there quick enough. Well, you're right. And there's a reason that Mason Rudolph was a first-round grade, and no one knows who this Hodges kid is. He right. was cut, and no one picked him up. It's not like that. There, there were people coming lined up to get him. He's not a good quarterback. Uh, Rudolph at least has a chance. But to me, the most disappointing person yesterday, and honestly throughout the last couple of years, is James Conner. Like, just – he can't play football. If you're a running back, you're going to experience some sort of contact throughout the course of a game. Uh, Emmett Smith used to say every single time he carried the ball was a car accident. Uh, if you can't withstand any punishment, any collisions, any contact at all, then I, I don't see what value you have. I don't know what contract he's going to get moving forward, not just from the Steelers, but from anybody who wants a running back that every time he's tackled is sitting down. Yeah, uh, that'll be something in our January edition once we hit the 2020 season. Yeah. It'll probably be over, so we'll have plenty of time to discuss yeah. uh, needs, biggest needs, extensions, I mean, cuts, all that stuff. Even if we win, we go to Kansas City, right? Isn't that who we play? I mean, what's our chance at Kansas City, even if we get into the playoffs? Right. right. Kansas City's good. They're good. And they, you're going to have to score more than 10 points to beat the Chiefs. You sure are. Our right, last question here, gentlemen, uh, as we wrap up our last show from Beaver County Auto here in December. Uh, playoffs will start in two weeks. Uh, the field is... Every slot is set aside from uh, the last NFC wild card, or actually the NFC East winner, Eagles or Cowboys, and then it'll either be Steelers or the Titans. Uh, putting those all those teams in there, who uh, if, you, if you had to uh, go with your Super Bowl team, uh, two, who, who'd you go Ravens with? Ravens got to be the major favorite right now. Besides them having to beat New England in a playoff game, I think they're the most uh, put who's, together. Who's the team. second best in the AFC? Would second you go best with? in the AFC, got to go with New England until someone beats them, right? Yeah, I, it, 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 it's hard because it, I have never seen a playoff field this wide open, whether the teams are so average or so great. I haven't figured that out yet either. I like San Francisco coming out of the NFC. I think that they are really a complete football team, like you just mentioned about Baltimore. And to me, it's either Baltimore or Kansas City. I still think. Mahomes will be able to outscore Jackson when it comes down to it because he's multidimensional. Not that Jackson isn't because I'm a huge fan. I think he's phenomenal. Uh, I just think that the Chiefs have been waiting for what happened last year to get over that hump. I don't like New England this year. I think that, you know, the defense is elite, but I just don't think they have any weapons for Brady. I, I've never seen, like, Edelman is your weapon. That's not good enough. 
Uh, and I just don't see, I see New England maybe being an early exit in the playoffs. That's my little upset special. And remember, before the year started, I said TJ Watt was a sleepy pick to win a, a defensive player of the year. We have it on tape. It, it's pretty close. I don't know if he's going to win it, but he's definitely going to show up at the meeting. We've got to look at those tapes and see who thought yeah. the Browns were going to be good, because thank God they weren't. I did. <laughs> I, I, I picked the Browns to win the division, but I mentioned it was Baltimore's division until someone knocked them out because they won it the year before. Maybe we'll do the best of. Yeah. Of, uh, we'll go it's back nice and, looking up those and splice times. this up. Yeah. A little stocking stuffer for the people that want to hit to the Rivers Casino. My picks, not that uh, you care, but uh, I'm going Green Bay and Kansas City. Okay. Kansas City wins the Super Bowl this year. Those would be good odds if you pick those two to go to the yeah. championship game. Yeah. No, that, I'm picking them right now. Right, right now. That, that, those are my two teams, Kansas City, Green so Bay. So you like the Packers tonight? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, gentlemen, uh, enjoy the holiday, PJ. We appreciate all your support. and. Um, we will see you next year. Be Merry safe. Christmas, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas yeah. everybody, and thanks for another edition of uh, the Sports Drive. We will see you in January. Nice.